Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach about the Modal Mapper class. Okay, which used to uh, here you have to here in our last uh, Springboard video we saw how to uh, if you are enter the correct employee ID, the matching data will be displayed. So here we have to uh, we have to type all the columns names, get employee ID, employee name, all the things. So instead of very simply we have to write only one line by one line uh, for if you are using the model mapper. So how to use model mapper? So we have to go to the Google and type the dependencies. Model mapper dependencies. You type on Google model mapper dependencies. Okay, press enter key on your keyboard. It goes to the uh, respective website here, this one. Click on here. Here you simply you have to select the version. Let me select the version as this. Okay, don't go to the uh, last update version. Don't select this one. Okay, you have to select the. You get like this. This one. This one. No. This one. You have to get one. Right. I am getting this one. Okay. Right. Now this is a. This one I just copy it. I will see it copy. Back to my project. Here I am going to select this uh, home dot xml. You have to paste it over here. Control B to paste here. Okay, this one model mapper. After that, what you are going to do is after uh, paste it here, you have to, don't forget it. You have to click this one. Then only it will be form will be uploaded, uh, updated. Here it is the dependencies installed in your project. You have to wait here resolve the dependency of the first app. Now it installation is com completed. Now let's back to the configuration package here you have to create the file as uh, java class the java class you have to create the class name which is a uh, model map config this is a class name i am going to create you have to type model mapper config and class you have to create a class the class has been created successfully now what you are going to do is the same thing you have to type this you have to have I just copy and paste it. This is a bean. Here's a bean. You have to get the bean here over here. It's a bean. So here I have to put the annotation configuration. This annotation you put it. Right? So now let's control plus enter. It's a bean also control plus enter. This all the things are created. Import the class. The mapper also created. Model. Right here, this is all the things are created successfully. Okay, right. This simple stuff. Uh, this is all the code I provide in my website. You will be able to get it there. Right? Okay. Simply. First, you have to add the dependency. After that, you have to create this class. Okay. This is how you have to follow the instruction. Okay. Step by step. Third step, you have to go to the employee IMPL. Here, this code I just go to here. I'm going to uh, comment it. So how to comment it? So you just comment these slides. So in Java you have to comment, you have to use likewise. Right. Okay. Now instead of here, I'm going to write simply this code. You have to write employee DTO. Say employee DTO. Employee DTO equal model mapper uh, map customer get. You have to write this one. A DTO, right? There is uh, employee DTO, right? You have to write employee DTO here. Sorry. Why it's not showing here? You have to import the model mapper over here. Auto wire private model mapper. Model map, you have to import this 
Okay, they are a go away. This one should be the employee. That's it. That's the thing you have to write. Okay, you have to get the model map. It's get all the things. This all the properties. It will be set or uh, set as automatically. Here, if you write a get uh, the this is the here. I already discussed. So this is the entities, right? This is employee this class which I have created. All the things are entities, right? So this employee class we get all the entities, right? So it's uh, DTO employee DTO model mapper. You get all the DT, uh, get and this is the employee D, uh, DTO. You pass it. Okay, then the, all the records will be displayed, right? So let's. Uh, Run the program and check whether it's working fine or not. Here you have to type the return type employee DTO. You have to type return employee DTO. Right? Now that's how we have to write the program. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Let's build the code. There is no error. Now let's check the output. Right. It's running again. Right, it's, it's no error here. It's working successfully. Now let's check. Uh, go to the Shagger first. Let's go to the Shagger and test it whether it's working fine or not. Localhost. Mm, the port is uh, Shagger. Just a Shagger port. Here you have to type the return type employee DTO. You have to type return employee DTO. Right? Now that's how we have to write the program. Now let's check whether it's working fine or not. Let's build the code. There is no error. Now let's check the output. It's running again. Right, it's, it's no error here. It's working successfully. Now let's check. Uh, go to the Shagger first. Let's go to the Shagger and test it whether it's working fine or not. Localhost. Mm, the port is. Uh, Saga. Just a Saga port. Uh, 